Hi, in this video I will show you, how to revive Roblox on Linux from the grave. You will probably remember me for this video here, well this is instead the updated version of the video, which is even simpler and faster to make. But before continuing forward please leave a like, subscribe to my channel so that I can reach 2500 subscribers, and activate the bell to receive videos always or almost like these, and I remind you that at the end of this video, you can leave me a nice comment if you have problems or doubts, or simply for moral support, having said that now let's start with this amazing tutorial. My system specs. If you wonder what system I will use for this video, it is Ubuntu 24.04 on Wayland session, and this is the other info of my laptop. Updated to the latest version. My video card is a bit old, NVIDIA RTX 3060 mobile GPU, it's not very powerful but it is for Roblox, the drivers are the latest from NVIDIA and they are also in beta, and they natively support the Wayland session so there is a lot of stuff here. The installation. First thing is in the previous video we will need Flatpak. In this site choose your Linux distro, and simply copy and paste everything into the terminal. I had already installed it previously so it didn't ask me anything. And this is the program that will run Roblox on your Linux computer. Go down a little and up to the installation part. Here very simply if you have as said before if you have installed Flatpak. Now you can use this following command. Now in your wonderful terminal, paste this command, and run it, and accept everything that says so everything on yes. Let's say it is crucial for the functioning of this program. Very good as you can see now it is finished installing. So now close the terminal, and go and look for this program. And this is the icon of this nice program. Anyway open it and go forward in the program. As much as it seems suspicious to you that it wants an APK, in reality it is not a real emulator. I'll explain here in a handful of seconds. Since Roblox has been banned for Wine and also for virtual machines, the only solution that remains is to use Android, which for reasons unknown to the world, you can use it on virtual machines, and it has no ban, since Android runs everywhere today, about performance and graphics, this bundle somehow does not have an architecture so it works for both ARM and x86, and I don't know how but it can understand if you use a phone or a computer, so it includes the possibility of using the Vulkan graphics API for modern GPUs, but not for OpenGL if you have a computer that has an old video card like 15 years ago you can't proceed because you will have this error here, for those that will work you don't have to worry it will run perfectly as in the old tutorial. But before continuing forward, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and activate the bell, to always or almost always receive videos like these. I also remind you to make a nice donation to save the brothers and sisters of Palestine, so you who are lucky to watch this video, make a nice donation, they will send hot food, clothes, and medical kits and more, and you will also have a lot of benefits. Thanks for listening to me but now let's move on. Then on this page that I will leave in description, you have to download Roblox Boundle version without specific architecture and without P. This is what you need to download please download the latest version this version will become old over time. After it has downloaded, just close your browser and continue inside the program, and now select the file you downloaded. Perfect now Roblox has been successfully installed, now you can enjoy it too. As you can see it loaded everything perfectly. I hope you are ready, because I will show you how Roblox actually behaves with this new program. Gaming Test as a first game I would like to try realistic car driving, which for those who follow me knows very well what I'm talking about. As you can see it is almost like the computer version only one option is missing in the menu, but the rest is all identical. As you can see you see that I have a computer and I can choose my frame rate, 
and in addition if you notice the maximum graphics are identical as on a normal computer, obviously because it uses Vulkan as a graphics API. Let's say that the FPS are not bad, since I'm also recording now, without recording I would definitely have more, and yes the graphics are just like those of a normal PC, and I also notice that the mouse has no problems, so it really is like a real version of the computer. Yes there is really very little to say, the FPS are very stable and in addition if I didn't do a recording now, however I think now it's time to move on to the next game. Which is Jailbreak, as you can see I have maxed everything even in the game settings itself, so I would say now let's see how it will behave. Yes the graphics are definitely those of a computer, however very little to say, everything is very fluid, but let's see if it will be the same in the sewers. It behaved really well I would say, it had a slight drop but nothing major, I noticed that when it has to load the map or something like that, it has a drop in FPS, which I think for you is not a serious problem. Now instead let's take a nice tour around the city, however yes, you notice the drop in FPS if you have to load very large and detailed things like this city. Um yeah it's not that great, maybe it's because I'm doing the recording, I think I would need a new computer, but anyway the experience is not bad. Unfortunately my internet goes out at this part, so I guess it's time to move on to the next game. After which I decided to try this other little game, which I'm sure many of you will know, it's a small and light game, so you can surely play heavier PvP games too, like for example Phantom Forces. And in the end we won, then I start the next game, and I had killed one of my opponents, but right after one killed me, I still noticed some pixelated stuff on the edges of my teammate's avatar, and after a few moments later I don't know what happened, everything froze. Not understanding what to do, I killed all the processes of this program, but this did not fix the problem, and in fact the program did not open, in the end I stopped the recording and restarted the computer. And after the reboot as you can see everything started working again. And then I played a game again with a bigger team, and everything was very smooth and stable. Then I tried this beautiful classic game there is very little to say it was super smooth. And of course in the end my team won. Then I also wanted to try this beautiful classic game, that only children who played Roblox in 2016 and 2018 will remember, but anyway everything is very beautiful and runs very well, I had FPS drops, but this is because I'm recording.
The end. And nothing this was how to install Roblox on Linux, finally everything works again, and it's even easier to make it work, I recorded so my performance is not correct, and then I would need to have a new computer at this point, but anyway, thank you for your vision and attention, I remind you one last time to leave a nice like, to subscribe to my channel so I can reach 2500 subscribers, and to activate the bell to receive videos always or almost like these, and as the last most important thing, is to donate a little to save the brothers and sisters of Palestine, so they will have food, clothes, and medical kits, and you in addition in return will also have some nice surprises in your life, in addition if you have problems, or questions, or simply want to give me a little moral support write to me in the comments, I thank you once again, but I think now it's time to say goodbye, I wish you a great day, goodbye. videos.